Hi everyone, my name is Heike Bartels and maybe you know me from my feel good workout videos on YouTube or my daily energies on Instagram and Facebook. Well, I think in this extraordinary times there is one question that is really one that all of us are thinking about for how long will this go on and of course many of us feel very powerless and it's not so much about catching the virus there is much more fear about the situation and how we're going to sustain ourselves our lives if we can't go to work at the moment we can't earn money so what do we do how do we sustain our families? Um, yes, just the basic needs, what can we do? And actually, this is why I'm doing this video for you today. There is so much more than we think that we can do, actually, because yes, we are not powerless. We are not victims. We have attracted this situation as a collective because there are some lessons to be learned and of course, first thing is that every one of us individually asks themselves, okay, what can I learn from this situation? And the second thing is that we all know that, well, you might have heard from groups that are doing prayers and groups that are doing meditations. And of course, at the moment, we can't do that, but in the past, this has been uh, done quite often and especially the Institute for Hard Math, I will link that in the info box below, has done investigations about how the impact of these group meditation and group prayers are working because they are raising the frequency or the vibration of the collective. And that is what is needed now. If we want something positive, to, to happen, yeah? We need to raise the vibration. And this is also the, the, the thing that how we can stay healthy and happy. So health, health happiness, uh, unconditional love, compassion, this is the highest frequency. And the more we are tuned in into that frequency, like go play with your kids, <laughs> have fun, yeah? It's not that it's forbidden. It's not that we have to be sad and worried and fearful all the time. That's not what it's about. It's about, okay, how can we resolve this situation and also assure that it does not um, go on for so long. And we can. Because if we keep focused on what we really want and what we really want is health, freedom, happiness, yeah? Just have a, have a think about that. Maybe write it down. What, is, what are your goals? And then you can affirm that, for example. I am health. I am happiness. And you know that, you're, um, that if you go on with your affirmations, you will, you will attract this into your reality. And there is one exercise and one information that I also would like to share with you. We need... <clears throat> this high frequency and there is one exercise how you can actually synchronize the neurons in your heart yes you have neurons in your heart <laughs> and the neurons of your brain and that's called heart coherence and if you do that you are on this high frequency from which all creation comes for example artists create from there. Scientists who really have an intention of making a difference, create from there. So <clears throat> everything, all the good, the creative work comes from there. And the exercise is very easy. Well, first of all, I wanted to tell you that the neurons in your heart, it's 40,000 of them, and they were discovered in 1991. And of course, scientists were very surprised that these neurons work similarly <coughs> to the ones in your, in your brain. But yes, it is the case. And 
how you synchronize your heart and your brain. So you're creating from this highest possible frequency is that first of all, you put your hand on your heart or whatever is the right place for it. Because that's then where you draw your awareness to. And then the second step is to slow your breath. You can breathe in for five seconds, breathe out five seconds. That's um, something like, you know, maybe you want to close your eyes so you've got your awareness much more inside than outside. And if you've done that and you feel a lot calmer, normally you should, <laughs> then you think of one of the, or a combination, you can also do a combination, of the following feelings, care, compassion, gratitude, and appreciation. All these are feelings which have a very high frequency and it will tune you into this. And if you then keep up the intention of good health, of happiness, of freedom, of peace, of harmony in this world, but go for something in this world. Yes, it will help. And also, of course, if you pray from this, um, from this point, if you do your meditations, keep up with the intention of this situation resolving for the benefit of all of us and at the right time. And if we are really keeping our intention focused on this, then, and are, of course, ready to take on the, fir the personal responsibilities of, okay, what can I learn from this situation? Then it will resolve much quicker than anywhere before. Scientists are, of course, telling us for how long it might last because they have a certain experience, but there is, well, actually there are two things they don't have in, um, they don't take into the equation. The first thing is from 2020 to 24, everything goes even much faster than before. So it can go faster than in the past. And the second thing is we are not powerless if we, if we co-create with the universe or God or source or whatever you name it, there's nothing that we can't accomplish. So you are loved. And do you think that the source who created you or the creator or the universe would ever let you down or would have created you to let you down? No. So it's all about doing our part and together with the universe, we can do it. And together we can do it, only together. Lots of love, all the best for you and please be healthy and happy. Thank you.